हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई प्रेजेंटेशन माई सेल राजवर्धन अजित चुरगुरे आई एम फ्रॉम राजारम बापू इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी राजारम नगर आई एम स्टडीड इन एस वाई मैकेनिकल बी टेक टूडे आई एम हियर रिप्रेजेंट द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ बिवेल गेयर दिस इमेज इंडिकेट्स द कास्टिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ बिवेल गेयर इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट बिवेल गेयर Bevel gear is a rotating machine element used to transfer mechanical energy or a shaft power between shafts that are intersecting either perpendicular or at at angle right angle a change in the axis of rotation the shaft of power aside from this function bevel gears can also increase or decrease the torque while producing the opposite effect on the angular speed this is a flow chart of manufacturing of bevel gear in this flow chart which materials are used which furnace is used and these are the manufacturing process pouring casting shake out cleaning and inspection finishing in this there are uh, these are the materials which are used for casting grey cast iron nodular and ductile cast iron कार्बनाइजिंग स्टील नाइट्राइड स्टील ब्रॉन्ज नॉन मेटल साइज प्लास्टिक रेनफोर्स लैमिनेट्स एंड देन माइल स्टील इज अ मेटल एलो यूज इन द कास्टिंग ऑफ बिवेल गेयर बिवेल गेयर कैन मेड फ्रॉम मेटल सच एज स्टील और ब्रास और फ्रॉम प्लास्टिक सच एज नाइलॉन और पॉली कार्बोनेट विच फर्नेस इज यूज फॉर बिवेल गेयर casting cupola furnace is used a cupola furnace is a melting device used to which can be used to melt the cast iron bevel gears are used in applications with a 90 degree shaft angle at 545 degree celsius of machine structural carbon steel sc m411 of machine structure alloy steel here we can start the casting process this image indicates the casting process sand casting is the most popular casting process employed in industry because of its great geometric freedom capability and for its cost effectiveness the size and shape of the perform of the hot die forging of the bevel gear for the casting process analysis of bevel bevel gear blank described in this paper casting process is most used to often make blanks for gears that will have cut the teeth there are several variations this process can also be used with a variety of steels bronzes and aluminum alloys with machinable materials the process is still useful if the gear is integral with some complicated shape that is very difficult to produce by machine the complicated gear shapes quite costly to the machine can be made quickly at low cost and then pattern then pattern in this picture we can see uh, around the product sand is there in casting a pattern is replica of the object to be cast used to prepare the cavity into which molten material will be poured during the casting process patterns used in cast thing may be made up of wood metal plastics or other materials patterns are made to exciting standards of construction so that they can last for a reasonable length of time according to the quality of grade grade of the pattern being built and so that they will be repeatedly provide a dimensionally acceptable casting and then uh, after this all process then then core making here we can see the core making images cores are placed into the mold cavity to from the interior surface of the casting thus the void space is filled with molten metal and eventually becomes the casting core is a prepared shape of the mold it is used to provide internal cavities recesses or projections in the casting it is usually positioned into a mold after the removal of the pattern pattern when the molten metal is poured it flows around the core and fill the rest of the mold cavity then molding 
in this video uh, we can see the molding process it all starts with our plastic injection mold specially designed with gear cavities mold processing had been the main method of the fast development in modern industry and production molding is a nothing but the mold preparation activities for receiving molten metal molding usually preparing the consolidated side mold around a pattern held within a supporting metal frame removing the pattern to leave mold cavity with coarse mold cavity is a primary cavity in this picture uh, this process is shown the molten materials then cools with the heat generally being extracted by the mold until it solidifies into the desired shape here we can see a one video about this process molding is a manufacturing process that involves shaping a liquid malleable raw material by using a fixed frame known as either mold or matrix after this process pouring is there casting process involves the use of molten material usually metal this molten material is the poured into the mold cavity that takes from the finished part the preparation of molten metal for causing the is referred to simply by as melting the molten metal is a transfer to pouring area where the molds are filled away. in this picture the man shows the pouring of that melting mortar and then after this all casting shake out uh, in this picture uh, these pictures are the casting shake out of that material after the casting has solidified the mold the casting is removed from the sand mold by a process called as a shake out process typically the entire mold is vibrated to shake loose the sand from the metal casting additional cleanup of mold material can be accomplished by the abrasive blasting with the with the ice clay the part was allowed to solidify and then conveyed to a mechanical vibrator the mold and the part were shaken for several minutes until the majority of the sand was removed the sand from the mold is then recycled to make a new mold uh, here we can see that the sand and this poured material after this cleaning and inspection cleaning and inspection is the most important part in this process because gear inspection is an important procedure for checking not only the overall quality of the manufacturer but also provides insights to the efficiency and level of control of the manufacturing process process cleaning involves the removal of sand square excess of and excess metal from the cutting board on sand scales are removed to improve the surface appearance of the casting excess metal in the form of fines wire parting line and fins and gears is removed inspection of casting for defects and general quality performance after all these process when you are complete then finishing is there finishing metal can sometimes fill in cracks in a casting mold or spruce the pouring channel for the mold manufacturers most often finish the molten following casting this can be accomplished through variety of finishing techniques including sanding grinding buffing once proper appearance and surface texture has been achieved further pass treatment provides process such as painting or electroplating may be necessary the finishing operation begins after the part part has been removed from the mold during this process the getting system is removed from the mold the risers removed from the mold and by the torch grinder or saw typically additional clean of flash and the other final touch up touch up is done with the grinder after the mold material is removed from the clit the risers are removed with the torch then the ice clits are removed from the tree the gates runner system that deliver molten metal in, to the mold of the clit this is all about of the manufacturing process of bevel gear whenever i conducted this project or this isc then i understood that what is a manufacturing process and also i understand manufacturing process of bevel gear in detailed form when this uh, whenever i uh, 
whenever I learned this process that is pouring, casting, inspection, cleaning, finishing, I learned various types of manufacturing process of bevelgar by casting process process i understand that how product is manufactured by a casting method that is which material are used which furnace is used and i i i got all information about that materials each and every materials thank you